Excellent. Okay, I'm back to test another game today. Capcom vs. SNK2 on the Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to use a Supreme Duo image. And uh, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how it runs on their image and the Pi 4. I'm also going to show you how to get it to run after this. I'm not just going to play a game and show you that it works and then not show you how to actually get it to work. So let's launch the game and take a look at it first. Okay, launch time, it took about 15 seconds maybe to get that Naomi screen to come up. Okay, we're also overclocked here at 1900 uh, gigahertz, um, or 1.9 gigahertz, and we are uh, overclocked on the GPU to 600, I believe. And this is a 4 gig RAM version of the Pi, uh, so let's get started. Let me take off the overlay so you can see the frame rate. And we're just going to jump in there. Quickly pick some characters. Let's do uh, Rio. Next location is Barrensburg. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! I don't know these buttons yet. I didn't. And uh, this is on. This is Flycast. The Flycast LR Flycast. You can run it on uh, Raycast as well. So make sure uh, you're using one of those two emulators. Although this is an arcade type. Uh, port here, you don't uh, use a main. So it looks like 56 to 60 on the FPS. Running pretty good, actually. I, this I'm impressed. Be a match to remember. Fight. Wow, they came out with a sneaky surprise attack at the start of the round. I hate playing these games on a controller. Uh, more of a fight stick guy. Audio sounds pretty good. No issues. Um, there you have it, guys. I mean, it's running really well. Uh, and let's uh, show you how to get it to run now. Okay, so a couple things here. Number one, you saw me run Flycast from my arcade folder. I'll put a video at the end that shows you how to do that if you want to add Flycast as an emulator option when you open up your arcade folder. Now, if you want to get this game running, there's a couple different ROMs that will make this work. What you're going to need for the ROM that I specifically used, which was the USA version slash uh, English version, was two files. One is a CHD uh, file right here, this GDL0008. Uh, and as you can see right here, 153 kilobytes. The other file is this CVS2 zip. And there's only one file in here. And this one is 16 kilobytes. Now you're gonna see tons of uh, ROMs out there uh, that say they're Naomi and they're actually Dreamcast or some other version or they don't work. Here are two, this is one of the ones that I know that works. Here is the other one, it's an LST version. And this one specifically um, 
is uh, a Japanese version here. But what you have here is a dot bin, an LST, and an EEPROM, and then this is just an NVMEM file as well in here. Those files are what you need to run that Japanese version or the LST version. Now, you also need the BIOS. So I'm gonna show you the BIOS that I have. If you're using the Supreme Duo image, they have all the necessary BIOS in the BIOS folder, but they are not in the right location in order to launch some of these Naomi games. I'm gonna show you that in a second when I SSH into the Pi, and I'll show you where those BIOS should be, and you need to uh, check and make sure they're in there and move them to there. The first BIOS file that goes with this game, the, the uh, the Naomi uh, zip file here, there's a BIOS that goes with this and then the, there's a bin BIOS that goes with the LST file. So the dot bin goes with that LST, the dot zip goes with this one that I used earlier. And the Naomi zip file that you need for the ROM that I was using is right here. This is what it looks like. So take a quick glance at that and make sure yours looks like that. And if you're going to use the LST file, the Naomi boot bin looks like this. 2048 kilobytes, and it's named Naomi underscore boot bin. Now, let's SSH into our Pi, and I'll show you where these, uh, where these files are. Now, if you're using the Supreme Duo image, uh, the original password is Supreme, uh, if you haven't changed it yet. Now, as you know, BIOS normally going home, Pi, Retro Pi, and then BIOS. And this is where they loaded up all the BIOS files here. They have all these Naomi files here. I'm going to show you them really quickly. And they have their Naomi.zip here, the Naomi boot bin dot here. And there's Naomi 2 zip. You don't technically need these for the files that I'm running that uh, I showed you earlier. Uh, but it doesn't hurt. Like I've always said, a proponent of just dumping BIOS files in there. But what you're going to want to do is make sure both these files, the Naomi.zip, or just one, whichever one you're using, but uh, I just put them all in there when I, when I uh, had BIOS. But you're going to take these two and you're going to move them into the DC folder right here in the BIOS. So you have a BIOS slash DC folder. And as you can see, I have the Naomi zip right here and the Naomi boot bin right there. Uh, dump them in here as well, and then your ROM should launch. Uh, if it if they're not in here, and you've directed your emulator from the DC um, the the DC folder, this is where it looks for that BIOS file. So make sure they're in there as well. And once you do that, you can launch, and uh, it should run just as smoothly as it did on mine. And again, I was using Flycast. You can also try Raycast. So as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this, as well as other tutorials or arcade demos. Uh, thanks for watching The Rexer Show.